Hello and welcome to another episode of China Record. Today, I'm going to talk about a major breakthrough in the smartphone industry that happened recently. It's about Huawei, the Chinese tech giant that has been under constant pressure from the U.S. government for years. Huawei has just launched its latest smartphone, the Mate 60 Pro, which features a powerful new chip that was designed and manufactured entirely in China, without relying on any foreign suppliers or technology. This is a huge achievement for Huawei in China, as it shows their resilience and innovation in the face of adversity. But it also raises questions about the impact of the US sanctions on the global semiconductor supply chain and the future of the industry. In this video, I will explain how Huawei managed to create this chip, what it means for Huawei and China, and what it means for the rest of the world. So stay tuned and let's get started. Part 1. Huawei's Crisis You probably know Huawei as one of the world's largest makers of telecom equipment, such as routers, switches, and base stations. They also have a huge presence in the smartphone market, especially in China and other emerging markets. Their phones are known for their high quality, low price, and impressive features. But Huawei has also been facing a lot of trouble from the US government which accuses the company of being a threat to national security. The US claims that Huawei's equipment could be used by the Chinese government for spying or sabotage, and that Huawei has ties to the Chinese military and Communist Party. In 2020, the US imposed a series of sanctions on Huawei, banning US companies from selling chips and other critical components to the company. This was a huge blow to Huawei's smartphone business, as it relied heavily on US suppliers for its processors, memory, cameras, and software. Without these parts, Huawei could not make new phones or update its existing ones. As a result, Huawei's smartphone sales plummeted, and the company had to cut thousands of jobs. According to a report by the Washington Post, Huawei's smartphone sales have plummeted in Europe in the wake of a US campaign that cut off the company's access to Google's operating system. In addition, Huawei reported a nearly 14% drop in first quarter revenue from a year ago as its smartphone sales plunged. However, according to CounterPoint Research, Huawei achieved 41% year-over-year growth in smartphone sales in the first three months of 2023. Huawei sold its budget brand Honor to a consortium of Chinese companies in order to save it from the sanctions. The sale was completed in November 2020 and was expected to help Honor regain access to US technology and components. Part 2. Huawei's Chip Breakthrough Amid US Commerce Secretary's visit to China, with the US considering new sanctions on Chinese high-tech industries. On same week, Huawei unexpectedly announced the pre-order of its high-end Mate 60 smartphone series, saying it will let some consumers experience the most powerful high-end Mate series ever. Huawei proved US's ban by launching the Mate 60 Pro last month, which boasts a new chip that is reportedly made by SMIC. Huawei, the Chinese tech giant that has been under US sanctions for years, has surprised the world with its latest smartphone, the Mate 60 Pro. The phone features a powerful chip, the Kirin 9000S, that is believed to be made by China's own semiconductor manufacturer, SMIC, using a 7nm class or 5nm class fabrication process. This is a remarkable achievement for Huawei in China, as it shows their ability to overcome the US restrictions and compete with the global leaders in chip technology. SMIC is China's largest and most advanced chip maker but it is still far behind the likes of TSMC and Samsung in terms of technology and capacity. SMIC has never confirmed that it produces chips on 7 nanometers or 5 nanometers nodes, but there are independent proofs that it has done so for some clients. SMIC uses deep ultraviolet DUV, lithography scanners to make chips on these nodes, but it has to heavily use multi-patterning which is an expensive and complex technique that affects yields and costs. 
Therefore, SMIC 7NM class or 5NM class technology is likely not as efficient or competitive as that of the market leaders. Nonetheless, SMIC's technology is good enough for Huawei to make a breakthrough with its Kirin 9000S chip. The chip features four high-performance cores and four energy-efficient cores based on Huawei's own Taishan microarchitecture, as well as a Mali G910 GPU. The chip supports 5G connectivity and runs on Huawei's Harmony OS 4.0 operating system. The Mate 60 Pro also comes with a satellite phone feature and a stunning camera system. The Mate 60 Pro has received rave reviews from users and critics alike, who praised its performance, design, and features. The phone is seen as a symbol of Huawei's resilience and innovation in the face of US pressure. It is also seen as a sign of China's determination and capacity to develop its own chip industry and reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers. Part 3. Impact on the Global Semiconductor Industry The Kirin 9000s is Huawei's latest and greatest chip, and it's a beast. It's made using 7 nanometers technology, which is the same as what TSMC uses for its most advanced chips. That means it's very fast, powerful, and efficient. It can handle 5G, AI gaming, and everything else you can throw at it. It's also the first chip to use ARM's new Cortex-X1 core, which is designed for high performance. The Kirin 9000s is not just a chip, it's a statement. It shows that Huawei can make its own chips that are as good as or even better than the ones from other companies. It shows that Huawei is not afraid of the US sanctions or the competition. It shows that Huawei is a leader in innovation and technology. Huawei's new chip breakthrough is a remarkable feat that changes the US-China tech landscape. It shows that Huawei and China are not giving up on their ambitions to become global leaders in technology, despite the US sanctions. It also shows that the US sanctions are not effective enough to stop China's technological progress, and may even backfire by stimulating China's self-reliance and innovation. The Mate 60 Pro is more than just a smartphone, it is a statement of defiance and determination from Huawei and China. But what does this mean for the rest of the industry? Well, it means that things are going to get interesting. Huawei is now a serious contender in the chip market, and it will probably challenge TSMC and other chipmakers for market share and customers. This could lead to lower prices for chips and more options for consumers. It could also inspire other countries to invest more in their own chip-making capabilities, especially if they want to be independent from the US or China. However, Huawei's new chip breakthrough is likely to trigger closer scrutiny from the US government, which is concerned about China's technological rise and potential threats to its national security. The US National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said during a White House press briefing that the US needs more information about precisely its character and composition to determine if parties bypassed American restrictions on semiconductor exports to create the new chip. The US may impose further sanctions on Huawei or SMIC if it finds any evidence of violation. Part 4 Conclusion Wow, Huawei just did something amazing. They made their own chip that is faster and more powerful than anything else on the market. This is a huge win for Huawei and for China, because it shows that they can compete with the best in the world when it comes to chip technology. Why is this so important? Well, chips are the brains of our devices, and they are essential for everything from smartphones to computers to cars. The global chip market is worth billions of dollars, and it is dominated by a few companies, mostly from the US and Taiwan. These companies have a lot of influence over the supply and demand of chips, and they can charge high prices for their products. But Huawei's chip breakthrough could change all that. By making their own chip, Huawei can reduce their dependence on foreign suppliers, and they can offer their customers better performance and lower costs. This could give Huawei an edge over their rivals, especially in the 5G market, where they are already a leader. It could also help China achieve its goal of becoming more self-reliant in technology, and it could challenge the US's dominance in the chip industry. What does this mean for the future? Well, no one knows for sure, 
but it could have a big impact on the global chip market. It could spark more innovation and competition, as other companies tried to catch up with Huawei. It could also create more tensions and conflicts, as the US tries to protect its interests and prevent Huawei from gaining more market share. The global chip market is already facing a lot of challenges, such as shortages, trade wars, and cyber attacks. Huawei's breakthrough could make things even more complicated. But one thing is clear, Huawei's chip breakthrough is a game changer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Let us know what you think in the comments section, and if you have any other topic you want us to cover. See you in the next video. Thank you.